How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now here on the channel I've reviewed a bunch of different gaming mice ranging in different sizes, different sensors from different manufacturers and then of course in a different price ranges. Usually I review mice that range from like the mid tier about $30 to the higher end tier that's over $100. I have reviewed some $20 gaming mice, but usually they don't perform that great and I just recommend something that is a bit better. It does cost a bit more, but it's just gonna last you a lot longer. But now, what about a mouse that only costs you $8? <laughs> now, this is a, the Re-Professional 7 color gaming mouse that I just got from Amazon and uh, that is going for $7.99 and just to guys show you how cheap it is my shipping yet to South Africa almost cost me more than the mouse itself. So we're going to take a look at the $7 or this $8 gaming mouse actually and see how it actually performs. Now I don't really have a lot of expectations for it. I mean it's going for $8. How much can you actually get for that amount of money? Uh, especially a gaming mouse. So I'm really interested in seeing how it actually performs, what it's going to be like and if you should actually get something like this. But honestly I don't really think it's going to perform that well. But now let's quickly just open it up, see what you get inside the box. Uh, and yeah, you're not really gonna get much. So you get the box, you get a bag and then you get the mouse. Now this mouse does resemble a lot of other gaming mice. Uh, kind of have the same shape and all of that and straight away you can feel that it's super plasticky the buttons are super smooshy yeah it's not really the greatest uh, the cable is at least braided which is cool uh, it's 1.5 meters and then it does have some lighting but now uh, let's quickly jump into some games and see actually how it performs because of course I'm a bit worried about the sensor for $8, I'm not expecting too much for the sensor. So let's quickly jump into a game, see how it performs, and give my verdict if it's actually worth getting an $8 gaming mouse. So let's get into that. Do you live in South Africa and want to get the best deals on all the latest gaming products? Well, Rebeltech is the best place to check out. They have a huge variety of peripherals, PC components, laptops, and just everything else you would need. So go check out rebeltech.crza to get the products you are looking for at a low price. All right, so quickly jumping into a game of CSGO. We want to find out how the sensor performs and then also how it feels in your hand. Now, when for the size, it's not really the largest mouse and if you have a large hand, it's not going to be most comfortable. But if like me, you have more of a medium or a smaller size hand, then it's going to be, uh, it's going to be decent. The, th uh, the pinky and ring finger rest is a tiny bit small even if you have more of a medium sized hand. I would like to force a bit bigger but for the thumb wrist that is pretty comfortable and it makes so that you can easily press the thumb buttons again they are a bit mushy but they are good enough uh, you can't reprogram them unfortunately they are fixed to just a single uh, command straight off the box but if you want to you can go get some third-party programs to remap the keys but it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, you can just in-game, you can just uh, bind it to your command, whatever you want, and you'll be set. Now as for the sensor, uh, I couldn't really get a lot of information about the sensor. Let's quickly just wait for this guy, there we go. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't really get a lot of information about the sensor, but it is an optical sensor that does have a max DPI of 5500 and it does have seven different DPI levels. Now the product page says it only goes up to 3200 and it only has four DPI levels, but it does go higher than that. For polling rate, it, did, it doesn't really feel that high, uh, they don't really say a lot about the polling rate either. Uh, it felt more like 500 or even lower than that, uh, but it was a bit jerky, but otherwise it, it was okay. Now as for this intro rollout, you do get a sum, especially if you do really fast movements. Uh, as you guys can see there, especially if you do lift up the mouse and put it down again. Uh, but if you most of the times, if you just keep it on the mouse pad and then move around, then uh, it actually keeps up. Now I do get uh, some some latency, some lag when uh, when moving the mouse around. That's something that you do get, but you get that with most entry level gaming mice. So it's not really big there. 
Uh, also, there I got a headshot. As for headshots, it is a lot harder to get those headshots because it's not really that accurate. It does, again, lag a bit behind. Uh, but it is, it's going to get you there. Uh, if you want something more accurate, of course, you're going to have to go for something more expensive. Uh, now, as for the underneath the mouse, you do get, of course, uh, the sensor, and then you get your thumb, your uh, your glide pads. Now, they aren't extremely smooth, not at all. It kind of feels like you're dragging the mouse along, uh, but yeah, it's 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 okay. I'm not really gonna critique it that much over there, but I would have liked it if it was a bit smoother. Let's really just get that. Um, now, you do get your normal left and right clicks and then also uh, let's just die uh you get your left and mouse, mouse buttons that are quite loud if the mic can pick that up you also get your your left left mouse button and that is almost like a double click of the left mouse button so if you want the doubles uh you just press that it's going to give you a double click again you get your thumb buttons and then your DPI level that you can just change between your DPI button that you can change between your seven different DPI levels. Now then finally, just for the lighting, uh, you only get a single effect throughout the entire mouse. Now you do get a different colors that cycles through the different zones, but honestly you only get a single effect, it cycles and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can't set the colors or anything like that and it's not overly bright. I don't know if you guys can really see it even uh, and it's not the most brightest room now so uh, you're gonna have to keep it quite dark to really see what is going on there and also the sensor sometimes you can even see it's brighter than most of the effect lighting LED lighting inside the mask uh, so that is not really the greatest um, but yeah it's an eight dollar mask you can't really expect too much so now in conclusion, I have to say I am quite amazed at how this mouse actually performed. It's not great at all, but for the price, it performed pretty uh, good. Comfort-wise, uh, comfort it was pretty nice. Uh, again, if you have large sized hands, it's not going to be most comfortable for you, but for small or medium sized hands, it's going to work fine. Uh, Sensor-wise, uh, you do again get your roll out if you move really quickly and if you lift it up but it actually performed a lot, a lot better than what I thought it would. So there I have to take my words back. It performed a lot better. Uh, it's, you're not really going to get amazing shots out of it, especially if you want to do quick flick shots and all of that. Uh, but again, if you just want to play a game and you don't have a lot of money, then this mouse will actually perform pretty good for you especially again for eight dollars you you can't really expect too much but the mouse actually delivers pretty well performance so again i have to take my words back for that so now finally do i actually recommend that you get the remounts for yourself uh and all honestly if eight dollars is all you can afford then i would say go for it uh, it did perform a lot better than I thought it would, but that still isn't really means that it's a great mouse. Uh, I would say just honestly save up a bit more and get something with like a 3310 optical sensor or a 3360. It does cost more, but it's just going to last you a lot longer. I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to last. You can already, like the sensor rattle is pretty heavy uh, with this, so I'm not sure how long it's actually going to last. But again, for $8, it's pretty decent and it did blow my expectations out of the water. I would just recommend something else, honestly. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my review of the Reprofessional $8 gaming mouse. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe and comment like always. And then I will check all of you guys next time. Cheers, guys.